You're in my world now. Welcome to the Impulse SV Patron server. And today we get we go to town, get supplies, and build a nano farm to begin plans to be able to supply ourselves with food, um, notably cows and you know, steak. So let's head to town. This is exactly what I was looking for. I need stuff. Most notably food. I think if I can buy a stack of beef, I'll be doing a lot better than a bunch of melons. Naturally, it is raining. Oh well. Well, I think I've fixed the, uh, the video settings so that this is actually going to come out properly because when I reinstalled the OS yeah, I forgot to get every single setting so a little bit of a derp there but I think I got it fixed in any case I have no clue what's going on for any of this so I guess it's a matter of wander around and uh, check out the shops and see what there is okay beacon shop I'm thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a beacon I also got to empty this out, but I want to check out other shops first because that would leave me 10 diamonds and yeah, I need to know what my options are for things that I want. So right now we have Beacon on the list. Ah, this is what I was looking for. Okay. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, I've got to figure out the stock and second floor must be for armors. Yes. Ooh, very, very nice. And I, I'm almost certain I know exactly who did this, whose shop this is. I just need to double check. Does light on mean in stock or out of stock before I go buy? But I definitely at least want to get the fortune pick to start off with and the beacon. And I can get diamond blocks from spawn. And then uh, my little branch mining area, I can set up the beacon so I can do some branch mining. It's pretty much what my plan is. So this is the shop I was looking for. This is the exact shop I was looking for. The beacon shop is a really nice bonus. I don't think I'll need to worry about the lapis because if I branch mine with fortune I'll get plenty. Actually I'm not gonna branch mine. I'm gonna like yeah that kind of mining. Okay so let me figure out the total cost of everything but I'm going to consider the beacon, the iron's free at the titan, and then the pickaxe, which I believe had a cost of six or eight. Six. Yes, that is perfect. That is very perfect. So, that is going to leave me 21 out of 25 diamonds. I will have four diamonds to spare. Of which I don't think a single item it costs four diamonds. I had to fiddle around with the AC. I don't need it running right now. But yeah, let's just... Price is missing on that one. That's six. That's... I think I could actually manage that one. Efficiency four, I'm breaking three, mending. I would need... Uh, I just want silk touch on that. And fortune on this. Okay, let's see, 6, 15, 6, and 4 would be perfectly spending everything. Um, yeah, I think that'd be worth it. I mean, I just gotta go to an XP farm to repair everything and then come back to... Yeah, okay, that, that'll work. That will work. So, oh, wait. Food. I still need to get food, so I need to find a food shop. But yeah, let me write down the prices of all this stuff, and then 
Look for a food shop. Ah, I could just get the, some of the books I need. <laughs> oh, mending. One diamond. One diamond for anything. That is really cheap for mending. Efficiency 5, fortune 3, mending, and I'm breaking for 4 diamonds. Plus 3 more for the cost. Making a total of 7, so... Uh, it doesn't look like we have a beef shop. Interesting. I saw a pig one, but... Uh, no, a chicken shop, but... Uh, yeah, no, I don't want chicken. I want beef. But I might have to settle for chicken. I have a feeling this just leads to... Residential? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm not opposed to buying chicken, but beef would definitely be better on saturation. Chicken farm. Well, free chicken there. Ah. Here is the cow farm. This is an option. I think I'll take from the chicken farm, though. <laughs> okay, so the free chicken. I think chicken should be free, but beef is something I'm willing to pay for. Um, I'm going to need beacons, or iron blocks for that beacon. Should have grabbed them while I was in spawn, but it was getting night, so... Okay, because of the uh, bounciness of going through the nether, por nether portals, I'm going to run back to spawn once again to get the iron, and then I'm going to run to the shopping district. Beacon, 15 diamonds. Yeah, I already have a diamond pickaxe. I could just buy the books and place them on there for cheaper than outright buying. Hmm, I may do that for now. Okay. Beacon, 15 diamonds. 15 diamonds in a dropper. Wait, 30 to 45 seconds. Retrieve beacon. One beacon acquired. Oh, I have 60 iron in here. Nice. Uh, we actually could just do this and toss this stuff up nice and safe. Because, quite frankly, the last thing I want to do is lose that. I could pay four diamonds for the books at another shop, since I already have a pickaxe and just craft it all together myself. Six diamonds here. And I am definitely going to make use of this shop because... No matter what, it's cheaper to get the tools pre-crafted than to spend the extra diamonds crafting the tool yourself. The thing is, I already happen to have a pickaxe, so why don't I just go ahead and get the required four books and smash it together myself. Okay, so one, two, three, four diamonds, four diamonds. Let's see. Unbreaking, three, mending, fortune, and efficiency. Fortune, efficiency. Nice. Now we'll throw these books in here as well. Once I get more diamonds, I'm going to the other shop to do some pretty major shopping. And I'm probably have to come back here to get the books necessary to fully enchant some of my stuff as I want. Except I'm going to have to put in a custom order for a, a smite sword, I think. In any case... I'm now going to head back to my base, now that I've got pretty much a full stock of what I need. One anvil crafted, 
Uh, we'll just drop it here. And let's see. I want efficiency five first. Ooh, I didn't think about levels. Uh, fortune. No, we want unbreaking three next. And fortune three. And then I'm going to need more levels to. Yeah, I'm going to need one more level to get mending on here. That's okay. Yeah, most of the day is gone. But that's okay. Because my plan is right over there next to my mining island. Most. a very centralized location in my area. We're going to put our first beacon. And we're going to do it in such a weird way, too. Let's see. I think I want it to go. You know, this cove here actually would be just about perfect. There we go. All right. Uh, I only brought the iron I need. Actually, let me go back and get the rest of what I need. Okay, I'm back. I had to hop off to do some experimenting to be absolutely sure because underwater it's going to be such a pain to actually have to replace it. Now, I want to put the beam lined up roughly out here. So what I need to do is swim down and place blocks at... Well, I have 52. Uh... Oh yeah, there is going to be my air pocket. Now then, that's the Y value. Oops. Now hop over here. Uh, go ahead and do that. Now, this is where I need to build out the pyramid base because I'm looking at the Y value of 52 which is where I need the 9 by 9 base to go one two three four five six seven eight eh, nine yeah, I do want it to go way out here. Yeah. This is where it's going to be tricky. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Yeah, no depth strider, just completely placing the blocks in survival. Basically, I have nothing for underwater work. I am almost done, sort of. I just have a couple more layers to go. And it's very difficult to be able to breathe while doing this because you've got limited amount of space that you can work with, essentially. Alright. Ooh, exactly nine left, which goes for the top portion of this. Now to swim over here and stand while I move the beacon into my inventory. And you know what I completely forgot? An ingot. But that's okay. Because we can place the beacon... And we have, well, we've basically got it going. Now, got two things to do here. One, take out these ladders. Well, that worked really, really well. The other thing I got to do is take out this cobblestone. Because, why not? Oops, I didn't even quite catch that. But yeah, we're going to swim on up and grab our boat. 
And we're going to go get an ingot. Oh, and we're not going to turn it to day yet either. Because I need to get a couple more levels. And the easiest way for me to do that is to kill the mobs that have spawned over here. Actually, it literally needs to just need to get to level 9. Gotcha. And I see a witch. Gotcha. Level 9. Probably already had it, but I just wanted to be sure. I'll actually be right back after I turn it today and finish the uh, that first axe. Thinking about it, I should have tried to go for that extra level because, yeah, renaming it. I'll rename it later. Got any suggestions? Feel free to leave them in the comments below. But for now, and we are going to affect haste. Now, swim up as quick as we can. We have haste, but the main, the main value for this, dear friends. Well, take a look. We're standing on bedrock. We still get the haste effect. We didn't have to dig anything out. We just had to build it underwater. And boom. 50 blocks in all directions from the beacon, we have haste. Now, the, the main thing for that is this level, I need to get glass, but essentially, we get to speed mine. Yeah, so we get to speed mine, and as you can see, this is going to go rather well. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to run into any lava anywhere, but that's why I'm speed mining to this level, because the lava will be on this level. And also, hoping for some diamonds here. If I'm listening carefully enough, which I think I am, I'm thinking that I hear a zombie nearby. Yeah, which means uh, this will eventually open up into a cave, but for now, oh, it's like right there, I think, but for now, we totally can speed mine, and hopefully we get lucky and find some diamonds, but the advantage is, in addition to speed mining this level, I can hop down and speed mine at this level. Uh, I'm just going to be careful about this row of blocks here, but let's see. I need to be careful because I want to leave that alone, essentially. Wow, that is my last torch. This is not going to bode well. Definitely getting a lot of coal, though. I'll need that. Would have been handy to bring some wood. Oh, well. I'll just have to be super careful when I come back down here later. But yeah, I'm going to dig up three blocks on this lower level, as I dig the upper level, so that I can uncover any diamonds that are in the middle levels of all of this. And I'm going to dig up on that as well. Maximize my chance for finding those diamonds. So far I haven't found any, but... We're only just beginning. Okay, so... So I very clearly have done a lot of digging. I haven't really dug up too many of the ores yet. What I have done is discovered some diamonds. And I was like, hmm, there's some plain wall this way. Let's start digging back that way, back towards that area. And we already ran into some more diamonds. I accidentally dug up one diamond, giving me the achievement for diamonds. But, fortune three, and that was an unlucky one too, because I only got one. Let's see how many I get. Okay. That was a really small vein. Go figure. Anyway, that was four there, and 
6 there, so 10 turns out to be 20. Doubled. We doubled up. Nice. I still nowhere near enough to buy everything that I want to buy. So I'm thinking I'll go back and get a shovel because my shovel broke. I will get a silk touch pick and I can start just digging this out with that so I can start acquiring smooth stone as well. And go ahead and get myself an axe and maybe a sharpness 5 book to put on it. Let's see, the book is one, the axe is six, so that's seven, the shovel is four, so that's eleven. The uh, pick is six, which makes it eighteen. I need to get a bow as well, which bring it, brings the total to twenty-six. So I need to find a few more diamonds, and we can go back and do some more shopping. I just thought I'd bring you in for these first diamonds. I don't think I'll be coming back for every time I find diamonds, but, you know, I will show you how many I ended up getting by the, when I decide to call this session, which is basically when I'm going to need to go and repair this. It's always a little disorienting coming out of that portal, but pretty sure I need to head up this way. I did the math on what I need for diamonds. Okay. And I have exactly enough. I forgot I still had six in there, so I didn't actually have to dig out any more. So I need a silk touch pick. Six diamonds. Okay. Then I need a shovel. Uh, that is four. We need an axe, which is six. We need a bow, which is eight. And now we need to go get a couple of books for this. So we need, let's see, I need the axe, yeah. fortune three, I like fortune on my axe, and sharpness five, nice, and sharp, oh yeah, that's right, I need levels, I only have two levels right now. <laughs> Eight levels for that, nine levels for that. That's all right. We'll just, um, hmm. Skilly Farm, this away. Oh, that's why there was nothing going on as far as rain. I'm going to assume it's this way following the path. Makes sense. Bones, so that's a good sign. It's probably is it. Where do they drop? Okay, they would drop here. Yep. <laughs> I may as well get a little bit of experience so I can. Uh, I left it back at my base. I may as well get the experience so I have the levels to do this anyway. Put the stuff on here, and yeah. I think I'll go for about 30 ish levels just to be sure. Alright, I think I've got enough levels. Grabbed some bones from down here. Looks like more have filled up than I've even grabbed, so net profit for the farm. Grabbed a handful of bows. And, yeah. There's one thing I was just thinking of, though, that this place could use. And that is a chest filled with iron swords. Because not everyone is going to have a sword as their primary weapon. Or maybe it's just me. Also, I don't need anything more than what I've got, so I'm going to leave all the extra stuff behind and head back to my base where we can build the nano farm. Personal nano farm. I think I should also grab a couple other things while I'm out this way, but I'll do that off camera, and I will see y'all back at the islands. Alright, we're back, and... I got bones, got a few miscellaneous crops that I can start growing, especially this. Grabbed a few vines, got some wool and some ink sacks. Uh, swung into the iron titan to get the iron for some shears, so we now have a, another pair of shears. 
which I think I should probably just go ahead and keep that pair in the, what you call it, ender chest whenever I make one and have that out here too. But right now my ender chest is empty, so it's not a huge deal. I've kind of got things sorted there. We've got most of what we need here. But I needed these because I need some of these. This is the annoying part, too. Dispensers are the most annoying thing to craft in Minecraft. And it's very annoying. But, yeah, whatever. So we're going to make this, but first, I actually want to make, where are my sticks? Oh, and lapis. There we go. I should have everything on me. I actually should look up the crafting recipe to make sure I don't mess this up. So give me just one moment, and I will... Make sure that I don't mess up my own crafting recipe. Back, and let's see. I'm going to need to do this to create some banners. And then we'll just do one like this. So we need some lapis across the top, across the bottom, and we need a diamond of ink, a diagonal of lapis, and a vine. So now, oh, I forgot one step. But fortunately, it's a step that can be done out of order, as it makes no difference on the end product. We have our S banner. Nice and smooth curves. And now, duplicated because boom we now have a shield with our S banner <laughs> I'm going to put unbreaking and mending on this sucker but for now we at least have this and we can throw this banner in here for the time being uh, throw the ink sacks in there and the lapis back in there wool Oh yeah, I already had seeds, apparently. The only thing I'm missing is potatoes. There were none at the community farm. Oh yeah, and a refill of chicken. I grabbed that while I was at spawn, so... Alright, adding... Uh, we'll add fortune, since it's more expensive. And then we'll add... Yep, I knew that would increase in cost, but fortune would probably be even more expensive. Sharpness. But now, what we need to do is build this thing. And I decided to make it out of polished diorite because, well, you'll see the redstone easier and... Okay. Fourth try is the charm. So I was right in the very first attempt at this on having that. Uh, we'll need a block there, a block there. A block... Well, we'll dig out these three blocks here, because that, that, that block there. We'll put some dirt there, get a block there, and now we need to get, let's see, a, nope, not there. Actually going to build it up this way. Um don't think I actually need that block. No, I don't. Uh, but I'll leave it just to leave it looking nice. Let's see, I'll need block there. Block there. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, actually I do need that block there because this and this need to also be there. Okay, so it's like partly right. Now we need 
our dispensers to go in uh, top row of blocks with a dispenser there as well because we need some slabs and smooth slabs kind of work best so we'll need one to stand on there and we'll need one for that just bare minimum so far I haven't done any of the actual redstone wiring but I think yeah that's built up we're gonna throw in the wiring next really quickly so we'll need that there in subtract mode dust there 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 oh actually I do need a block here and we need to send the dust up here across this and there and the reason for this top one is so that when I put uh, when I do this with beetroot it'll have the four dispensers giving it an increased chance that the beetroot itself will grow otherwise it's actually not going to be very efficient with the beetroot that's the only modification I'm making is adding one more dispenser in uh, let's see so that's all good now we just need to till this and put our water back there I didn't just completely forget a block nope that didn't happen definitely definitely didn't happen yeah no that did not happen <laughs> yeah it happened as a bit of a derp move but boom so we've got four boom boom so I'm gonna put two per dispenser right now and then we'll split that into four and then we'll put an extra quarter stack and there we go let's just grab our wheat seeds and verify this is working oh wait there we go oh wait <laughs> again I totally need a lever I was thinking of that while I was building was like nah I'll get it later nope need to go ahead and get it now there we go definitely need to start off with more than one seed but yeah this does work we've actually already got 48 wheat and 38 seeds and we've eaten through eh, not too too much of the bone mill. that one is re that one's using the bone meal the fastest and then these are just kinda well that's also going the fastest so that and that are my main users this and this are secondary so I'm gonna need more bone meal in these two I think but yeah ultimately we've got this working now there's only one other thing that I need to keep in mind and that is mob spawns so boom 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 that's more than enough torchlight but this is also going to kind of serve as a beacon for anyone well they'll see the island anyway but yeah it's just going to kind of serve as a little higher of a beacon as well and yeah we got our nano farm so now we can get a supply of wheat so that we can breed up some cows so that we can have ourselves a reliable food source and our cows are on an island over that way so I'm gonna have to pin them in and kinda create a cow breeding facility but that will be for a future episode for now I'd like to thank y'all for watching don't forget to check the description below and God bless Thank you.